when we're using mental math, we're not using base 10 blocks and we're not writing out everything that we're doing, it should be done in our minds, mental math. However, I will use base 10 blocks and write out my thinking process so that you can see what I'm thinking. Let's determine the sum of 32 and 28. First, use knowledge of place value to think about the number of 10 and the number of 1's that compose 32 and 28. 32 has 3 10's and 2 1's. 28 is composed of 2 10's and 8 1's. Now, think about how you join 10's and 1's to find the sum. I'm going to use the associative property. I'm going to say 3 10's and 2 10's is 5 10's. 30 plus 20 is 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Two ones and eight ones is 10 ones. Eight plus two is 10. 10 ones is 110. That means five tens and one ten is six tens, and that's 60. 32 plus 28 is equal to 60. Let's look at this problem again. 32 is composed of three tens, that's 30, two ones. 28 is composed of two tens, that's 20, and eight ones. I'm going to join two ones and eight ones because I know that's 10. Then I'm going to join 30 and 20 because all I have to do is skip count by 10. 30, 40, 50. 30 plus 20 is 50. I have 10 plus 50, or 50 plus 10, and that is equal to 60. 32 plus 28 is 60. Let's determine the difference of 61 minus 39. The first thing I see is the 9 in 39. When there is a 9 in the ones place, that means it is one away from the next decade of numbers. So 39 and one more is 40, 49, one more is 50, 59, one more is 60. I'm going to count on or think addition to find the difference. 39 plus an unknown number equals 61. I know that 39 plus one equals 40 and now I can skip count by tens to get to 61. 40 plus 10 is 50. 50 plus 10 is 60. And now I just need to count on one more. 60 plus one equals 61. That means 61 minus 39 is 10, 20, 21, 22.